Hello, I'm Mal, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Alright, in this episode, we're going to uh, head into the Weald uh, for a medium run to collect the medicine. And I've put together yet again another group, a little bit different this time. Um, and I'm interested to see how this, this will fare. Um, now, in the Weald, I don't know if a Plague Doctor is going to be as useful, but... I really want to keep taking Plague Doctors out and getting them leveled up, so I'm I'm taking Requiem with me. So let's take a look at the group in some detail. In spot one, I've got my character, Mal, Master Bounty Hunter. And then for trinkets, I've got the Sunring and the Solar Bracer. In position two, we got Colby with the Solar Bracer and the Sun Cloak. Position three, we have Requiem, who I mentioned before, with a stun amulet and an archer's ring. Now, I don't know. I mean, it would appear that as you move along, stun becomes less and less viable. But I'll, I'll, you know, I'll give it a, I'll keep giving it a try, just to just experiment. And then last but not least, I've got Morgan coming as our occultist, and he has, of course, the cleansing crystal and a sun ring. All right, let's go. Provision up. Let's take a lot of food. We need a bunch of light. That should be fine, actually. And then let's grab an anti-venom. Let's grab bandage. Let's grab herbs. Let's grab a key, and let's grab a holy water. Well, and I guess a shovel. Or two. Okay, that's fine. Maybe a little more food. Alright, good. Let's go. <laughs> Our land is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. Okay, I guess we'll go up this leg first and then come back. Seems reasonable. Depending on how the fights go. Oh, lovely traps. Um, depending on how, if we have fights up here, how they go, we might come back to this spot or maybe even this spot for camping. We do have some decent buffs that we can use. Um, Spiderweb uh, and Dive Venom. Had no effect. Um, well, that was kind of a waste, wasn't it? Bandage? Bandage, right. Okay. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Don't look at me like that. I don't come in here much. <laughs> I usually go to the ruins. Because I've had bad experiences with like the hag and stuff. She scared me. Herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Crate is empty. All right. Doesn't this give us more food? Yeah. Alright, well, we'll take it. That's fine. Might come in handy. Aha! Okay. Some stuff. Okay, I don't have any bandages, so I can't grab him. What? Doctor's toolkit, huh? Oh, the medicine. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, huh? A pack? Oh, wow, this could be anywhere then. Okay. It's the first time I've done this, I think, the medicines one. And it takes up a spot? Oh, man, that's... That's not great, guys. That's not great. Oh. Hello. Come here. Yeah, that's right, lady. I'm talking to you. Oh, no. 
All right. She's got to go. No, K kill her. All right, get rid of them. That was a good hit, but we need to get rid of her. Destroyed. There we go. How much? You didn't get the bleed, really? Well, I guess vulnerability hex this guy. Confidence surges. There we go. Crumbles. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Did you know that they can be felled? That they that they can be beaten? All right, we got 80 light. Let's go in with that. Blighted Giant, Nash, er, Crone. Okay. Oh, she marked her. She marked her. You know what? I think... Just want to hit. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, or miss. I was going to say, let's get rid of this guy. And get him out of the way. All right. Mark him. Can we actually stun? Wow, I did. Wow, I actually stunned him. Awesome. This stupid dog is hard to hit. There we go, some damage in the back rank. Twenty-two damage, not bad. Buff. There we go, thirty-three crit, nice. So he's almost gone. Gonna mark her again, okay. Works for me. Jeez, this guy is really hard to hit. There we go. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Goodbye, lady. Grab a heal. There we go. Give them no quarter. Okay, so let's move back. Yeah, we'll camp down here ish. Did I pick up a no I didn't, okay. Thought I picked up a bandage, but no, no, I did not. Hey, you know what? Why don't you eat some of this food that we have? You hurt? Anyone hurt? Food comes in handy for that, I'm telling you. Still plenty, still got plenty of food. More than we need, in fact. The light, the promise of safety. Oh, hello, ectoplasms. It's the embrace the dark one. Oh, stress, right. All right. Smack her or pull her forward. You know what? Uh, let's let's. Oh, she dodged it. Darn it. Okay, good. A faint hope 
blossoms. Man, she is just not hitting. I don't know what the problem is. Usually Hellions have no problem hitting. Very weird. There we go. Good. Vulnerability Hex. Miss. There we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Seventy eight light, they're surprised, so we're okay. Smack them both. Yep. Hmm. Do I buff or do I attack? Actually, let's try to blind them. Till next turn, they're stunned. Yeah, there we go. I think that was worth it. 28 crit, hello! There we go. Maybe I should've just been using if it's bleeds. Oh, can we finish them off? Oh, I got one of them. Missed. Good hit. Buff your damage. Grab a heal. Or nothing. What terrible strength! No! Okay, goodbye to her. Just gotta deal with this big fella. Shouldn't be too big a problem. No pun intended. <laughs> Nope. Trap. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Well, no anti-venom. Gonna eat this food, though. Okay, more loot. Like that. Grab some more light. Uh, you know what? Let's camp. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Okay, so let's do plan takedown because there seems to be quite a few size two monsters in here. That makes sense. And then let's do battle trance for plus ten accuracy and plus twenty percent damage. Oh, uh, and then. Preventative main uh, preventative medicine? Maybe. Hold on. What do we have left? That costs four. Less likely to be surprised until next camp. Improve scouting chance. This is how we Oh no, this is how we do it. We want that. Yes. So let's put that right there. Okay, so now she's got plus 20 accuracy and plus 20% damage against. Size 2 monsters and plus 5 crit. Okay, so hopefully that'll... Yeah, ho hopefully that'll make a difference. Uh, and then scout ahead or tracking. Let's do tracking.
Yeah, tracking. There's no trail I can't follow. Now, again, that's less likely to be surprised. You're out. Blazing star is born. Less likely to be surprised when you're out walking around. That's not to be confused with sanctuary, which protects you, helps protect you from ambushes after you're done camping. There's a difference. Just for clarification. Just for clarification. No, I still haven't picked up any bandages. Crate's empty. Wah -wah. Oh, hello! Another surprise. Nice. Alright, well. Uh, yeah. There we go. Nine damage. I always debate using it when there's only one target back there. Yeah. 28 crit. Nice. A powerful blow. Goodbye. Heal yourself. As victories mount. So, too, will resistance. Well, yeah, I would imagine it would. 76. It's enough light level to go in. Oh, brigands! Hi, guys! Oh, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> Good job, Morgan. I'll say. Uh, buff your damage? Some more? So what are you sitting at here? Plus 18% and all those other nice buffs? Yeah, I know I haven't been marking all the targets or what have you, but I mean, seriously, the cultists can lay down some serious damage. So there's no reason not to occasionally do that. Okay, now we'll mark. 14 crit, wow. Fifty-eight crit, wow. Ha have a nice day. Plus three percent crit, plus ten accuracy, minus twelve dodge. Interesting. That I mean I like the plus three crit. That's cool. But plus ten accuracy ranged? I mean what do you use? You throw the thing to hook them? I mean, that's ranged, come hither, which I guess I do use sometimes. Flashbang's ranged. I use that occasionally. But really, you would be doing this for the crit, but you'd lose 12 dodge. I don't, I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, good. There's another one of those quest items. Let's head down here. Nice, another torch. Speaking of which, let's get some more light. Oh, another torch, okay. Lots of mummies in here. I wish I had brought. I wish I had brought more. Uh, what's it called? Uh, bandages. Yeah. Okay, we need some more light. There we go. And. Dodged it, huh? Okay. Come on. Let's see. Buff. 
You? Yep. There we go. Good hit. Grab a heal right there. I think I'll have her get rid of that bleed. Since she can do that on her own. Buff? Good hit. Oh, really? You bled him? It's a little surprising. There we go. And you can do yours as well. Okay, now you need to die, dude. Seriously. Goodbye. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Okay, let's use some of this food. And Cress, I don't really need them, but... I mean, I hate to turn them down. What we got here? 250 over here. Well, this is an easy swap. That's 100 bucks up. I could run the risk of, you know, is there something else that I'll need a shovel on or, or a key for that matter? All right, we'll do that for now. That works. Grab some more light. Yeah, I'm not wild about these quest items having to be in your pack. I mean, you have such a limited space to begin with. No, no, don't, don't. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Good job then. <laughs> I was like, no, don't, don't do it. It's bad, bad. Well, it can be, you know, if you don't do it with bandages. So I typically just avoid it altogether. All right, eat a little bit. We got this little leg over here left. Let's see. Yep, just this. And how are we on torchlight? As the Decent. Light purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Okay, we're at 76. I need to be over 75 anytime I'm entering an area where I think there might be a fight, right? Because that's linked directly to my trinkets. Gotta be above 75 light to get my bonuses. That's why I'm constantly checking that. See, like right there. Cracked the light, got in a fight. And I was a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> All right, and smack it to the face. And... Smacking that one to the face. There we go. And kill that one. Oh, you're going to duplicate yourself, are you? All right. Fine. Goodbye. This expedition at least promises success. No, nope. need more light. Oh, ooh, towering ectoplasm. I've never seen one of these guys. Well, it's no, you, you can't bleed them, right? Nah. Okay, then let's just smack him. Nice, 34 crit. You 
You missed. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. Okay, so let's see. We're going to have to drop something because this is a quest item, right? Yep. So I guess we'll drop the shovels. Yeah, for the quest item. Let's look at the map. There's one more room. We might as well go ahead and check it out. Oh, and of course there's a... <laughs> I dropped the shovels. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave. I'm not gonna dig through that and get the stress from it. These tonics and herbs will stave off infection and neutralize contagion. Well, that was another good run. I was happy with that. And I think that group, to my surprise... I mean, we didn't have super hard opponents, so it's a little hard to judge, but... I felt like that group was pretty good, actually. Yeah. The Helly and I was a little surprised until after we camped, um, Copley really wasn't hitting very well, so gotta bear that in mind. On guard, plus four speed and plus five dodge first round? That's awesome. Warren's Adventure, nice. Stout. Fast healer, wow, we got positives across the board, that was nice. Morgan's level four now. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Okay, so speaking of the town, let's take a look at the roster real quick, because I haven't done that in a while. You can take a look here. Pretty much stress-wise, we're squared away. I need to get JP... He needs some stress relief, but he was busy in the sanitarium getting his negative quirks removed. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at the tavern. I don't have that fully upgraded yet. But I'm close. Here, let's just fully upgrade it. Diversion and dalliance await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. And Wilson can drink with him. There we go. You guys go drink. And you know what? Oh, Sashko can't, right? What do you have to... Oh, will never drink, right. Get a little bit of stress, though, dude. We gotta get rid of that. Guess you could run with two dots of stress. Not that big a deal. Okay, now, so here's the... <clears throat> excuse me, the way the tavern looks in terms of upgrades. And then here's the sanitarium. So treatment library is all the way up, and infirmary is one up. Go over to the Abbey, and it's completely upgraded across the board. Yup, that's right. I guess Sashko could, like, meditate. There you go. We go over to the Blacksmith, and we have all the way up on Furnace. We've now got up to rank 4 Armorsmithing, and the next thing I'm going to go for is a Weaponsmith upgrade. You know, the, the deal here is, obviously, you want to prioritize furnace upgrades first to reduce costs. Because you don't have the gold to do the armor and weapon upgrades anyway. Like, right now, I can't upgrade everyone to level 4 that's, that's, that, that can be upgraded. I can't, I can't afford it. It's too expensive even with the upgrades. So, you don't have to worry too much about how fast you upgrade weaponsmithing or armorsmithing. And between the two, armorsmithing is more valuable in my opinion. Yep, it'll keep you in the fight longer. The speed upgrades that you get from the weapons is nice, but armor smithing, dodge, and hit points is where it's at. Just my personal opinion. So, yeah. So, once we get... What? Eight more deeds or whatever? I'll upgrade the weaponsmith so that they'll be balanced out. Let's take a look at the guild. Guild is fully upgraded. Nomad Wagon. Cost reduction's fully upgraded, but wagon size has still got some work to go. Let's take a look at these trinkets. Lucky Talisman, yeah. Plus three crit, plus ten dodge, minus twelve damage. That's pretty good. 
Dodgy sheath, plus 15 dodge, plus 3 speed. That's really good. If I had the money, I'd buy that right now. That's a really good one, in my opinion. Accuracy stone is meh, and disease charm is meh. Let's see, survivalist, I only have two upgrades there. It's kind of pricey. Yeah, I know you get a lot of crests, but still, 64 for the third one? It's like, wow. Woof. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and that you join me for the next. I look forward to your comments and feedback as always. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.